the very best shoulders in the history of bodybuilding. We have a lot of contenders. First off, Mr. Serge Nubre. Look at that. 1975. You can see him here next to his double, Mr. Flex Wheeler. He was like his twin of the 90s. You can see him again next to Mr. Olympia, Samir Banut. Next to Mohammed El Makawi from Egypt. Dude was the epitome of aesthetics. Look at those shoulders. Very impressive. One of the very first one to do this muscular pose. He was impressive. Let's jump to the 80s though. Remember this dude has one of the best chests. He happens also to have one of the sickest pairs of delts. Mr. Gary Stridon. He was impressive in the 80s. Very sick physique indeed. And look at that right here. Mr. Dennis Inhuman Newman in the 90s. He was impressive, this kid. He was portrayed as Superman. Unfortunately, he cashed a very bad cancer and his career was put into a halt. There was another Dennis though. Dennis the Menace James. Massive, sick development in these delts. You can look at him next to big Ronnie Coleman. He was, as I say, a sight to be seen. He happens also to be the trainer of this dude right here, Big Rami. He also has some sick pair of ducts. He's already crazy impressive. However, in my opinion, the best is still to come. Until then, let's move to another Dennis. Dennis Wolf, Big Bad Wolf, are from Germany. I mean, look at that. I should be just speechless right now. I should stop talking. Look at those sick delt development. A lot of Dennis's, right? Dennis Newman. You got also some Dennis James. And, of course, the big bad wolf, Dennis Wolf. I should have called myself Dennis. He's German. But there's also another giant from Germany. They Lee, Mr. Marcus Rule. I mean, look at that. 3D all day and daily. Crazy upper body development. It was a sight to be seen. Are from Germany. These Germans have crazy genetics. Another German dude, Rollo Zerlock from the 90s. Signature pose, crazy shredded up there in the delts and also in the chest. Look at that, most muscular. Signature pose, back, double biceps. He was a sight to be seen. Unfortunately, he got old and in my opinion, he catch some serious palomboism. I'm sorry, Mr. Roland Zirlock. In my opinion, you should retire daily. But nonetheless, these Germans have some crazy genetics. Mr. Roni Rockel, again from Germany. Look at those shoulders. Impressive crab, most muscular pose. Unfortunately, he got some diabetes type 2 this year. I hope him some serious recovery. Another Roni though, Mr. Roni Coleman, next to Kevin Rev Roni and Flex Wheeler. Kevin Rev Roni, interesting. We'll come back to this guy. Until then, let's stick with Flex Wheeler, 1993 version, sight to be seen. One of the most aesthetic physique we've ever seen. I'm talking about this version, not this one though. This one, I'm sorry, not aesthetic. Let's go back to 1996, look at that. He is basically the double of Mr. Phil Heath, back double biceps, is like a snake moving on his upper body, very aesthetic. Again, the twin of Mr. Phil Heath, side chess. When you talk about Flex Wheeler, on top of his game is pretty much <laughs> Phil Heath. Uh, Sean Ray, respectable, not quite aesthetic in my opinion. These two again, Kevin Levroni, Ronnie Coleman, what the hell? We'll come back to these guys. Until then, let's go back to Canada. Mr. Claude Groul, as we call it, Claude Grou. Amazing shoulder development, needless to say. Uh, from Canada, another Canadian dude, Big Ben Pakolsky. Well, let's go back in time. You guys remember this delt right here? Do you know this guy? I have absolutely no idea how old is this picture because this dude never ages, never deceives. He might as well be 13 years ago or today has been the same, diced to the socks for 13 years with their arms and shoulders harder than rocks. Mr. The Blade, Dexter Jackson. I mean, look at that. 
This is one of the most impressive physique who lasted the longest, never fades, never deceives. He's like a vampire for God's sake. He's as hard as another dude. May he rest in peace, Nasser El. Somebody. Passed in 2013. It was very, very hard. Granted, dude. But guess what? Nasser El somebody knew who had the best shoulders. He definitely knew. Ronnie Coleman also knew who had the best shoulder. But let's go back in time a little bit. Mr. Victor Martinez, when he was on, dude was on. One of the craziest shoulder development. But hey, do you guys remember this giant from the back video? He has one of the craziest back ever, Mr. Joel Stubbs, dwarfing these two guys. Guess what? He happens to have one of the sickest set of shoulders up there. But everything brings us back to this picture right here, Ronnie Coleman and Kevin Lavroni. I have absolutely no idea why. Damn right. Let's stop beating around the bush and get right into it. The best shoulders delts in the world. Bring back your 3D glasses right now. You need them, bro. Look at that. Mr. Kevin, the cat, Lavroni, king. Supreme reigning in that department. Nobody else. Since Adam and Eve until today, 2013, has sickest shoulder like this dude right here. Chris Cormier, he was literally afraid of him on stage. He was saying like the shoulders were coming at you in a 3D effect. Kevin Lavroni is out to be saluted as the best shoulders in history. Don't forget to like if you agree. Tell me what you think about it. Comment, subscribe and salute me on a daily